Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through some of my favorite high protein snacks for on the go and just like day to day, working from home, whatever, etc., etc. Cause I just feel like I mentioned the other day on my stories that I'm trying to, I don't necessarily, sorry, rewind. I don't necessarily track um, my macros or my calories. Um, I've had a really bad relationship within the past with that in the past and that was kind of where my eating disorder stemmed from. I started tracking my calories and it just got a bit out of control and yeah. So it's not something that I do because I think it's still quite triggering for me and whenever I try it again since. But I am going to like subconsciously be tracking my protein. I just wanna try and get as much protein in a day as I can because I think some days I definitely don't. Um, I think especially if you're being late, like you're doing lazy eating and like going for those kind of quicker meals, they tend to be higher carb and less protein. And also I hate buying protein, like chicken's so expensive. <laughs> so I'm like, I can make pesto pasta for like a pound, but making like chicken, like a proper chicken pasta dish is so much more. Um, but yeah, I find it so frustrating the way healthier foods are more expensive. But I understand if it's like organic or whatever, like it costs more to, or like produce like to be organic certified you have to pay for that license whatever but like there's something wrong with the food system if like a bag of chocolate is the same price as a bag of spinach personal opinion but anyway let's get on with my five favorite high protein snacks i haven't had lunch yet so i'm actually really looking forward to doing this eating this is gonna be like my pre-lunch so yeah so first up just keeping it simple for on the go protein bras they're just great i know some people have a bad experience with them like in terms of if they're whey based um, and like triggering bloating or just yeah find them really heavy i've tried a fair few of protein bars now and i can fast say i've been eating these ones for the last couple months and i don't get like too much i don't get gassy or bloated or anything with them these are the freestyle vegan protein bars um this is the peanut caramel chocolate caramel peanut ones they're like crunchy let me show you the inside i'm gonna eat one now um but yeah they've got to tell you about the macros in case you're interested but i'll put all the information below because just in case yeah if you find this too much just skip past me talking about calories and stuff but they have 150 calories in a bar which I think is pretty good. Some protein bars have like 200 calories plus. And I just think some are a bit big for a snack. So these are like filling, but like a good snack size. Um, and then 15 grams of protein in a bar. Low fat, but let me show you the inside of this bar. Like, wow. I don't want to make a mess. I'm probably like, I'm going to make a mess anyway. It's like a, got like crunchy bits on the top. Yeah. And when you bite it, it's just so like fudgy like. Like super soft. Sorry, I'm eating. Super soft and fudgy. So good. And we find vegan protein bars are really dry. But this, wow. They also have a speckles flavour. And a dark chocolate raspberry. The speckles is really good. I tried that, but I haven't tried the dark chocolate raspberry to be fair. But I'm sure it'll be good. To continue, I will show you another on-the-go protein option um, to kind of keep it in sync and then we'll go to the cooking ones. Um, so, this is one. Another one that I love to use. Um, I'll put all the links to the products and stuff below that I do use um, and then discount codes where applicable some of these products you can get in the sale at the moment so that's pretty good um but clear way like i said if you're not a massive fan of big heavy shakes clear way is a great way to get up your protein it literally feels like you're drinking juice and you can be sipping it whilst you're working you don't have to have it necessarily as like a snack time you could like drink it like i said while you're working or i don't know like you're walking to the station blah blah blah, blah like if you're going to work um this one's actually vegan, so suitable for a lot of people. Um, and it's actually got BCAAs in it too. And it's pump, it's got lots of vitamins in it, vitamin C, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12. Um, so yeah, 
really great and how I even pump it up with more vitamins is a bit weird but normally you just scoop this and makes it with like 400 like 500 milliliters or whatever how it depends how like concentrated you want your juice to be because this flavor is green apple so yeah it tastes like apple juice basically but I like to put it with green juice or if I have apple juice put apple juice put it in the blender and then put like spinach and cucumber in it so it's more of a green juice but I don't think I've got any spinach or cucumber I have cucumber, I have cucumber, but it's with a, I'm going to need that for another snack. So I'm just going to use this apple juice and then show you what I mean. Because I would really fancy some apple juice. Yeah. Always put the liquid in first. So I think I'm going to do like half apple juice. Oh, this glass is a bit dirty. Whoops. Half apple juice and then half water. As I like it quite diluted, I don't like it when it's too sweet. Um, and then I just put in two tablespoons of the clear whey. And just like that, another, and just like that, a green protein juice. Honestly, could not recommend this more. I think also if you've got a bit of a sweet tooth, it's quite nice because it's like a juice and it's sweeter because of the fruit. Um, but like I said, you can just drink this during the day, doing a day-to-day -day task. I actually find it really refreshing when I come back from the gym. I don't find it as heavy as a protein shake, especially the way I make my protein shake. I don't drink just water or milk with the protein powder. I like to like put stuff in it, like fruit and stuff like that. So this is a bit better for me in terms of like, if I'm not hungry, but I want to get my protein in. Um, yeah. And let me show you one of my favorite snacks next. Okay, so next up, cucumber i think i'm actually going to do this with because i've had lunch i might as well bolt this out and make it into lunch but sometimes i'll do it it depends how hungry i am but this is so quick and easy this is like a little tuna snack so if you're not a fish fan substitute this for chicken it works the same way if you use shredded chicken sometimes they use shredded chicken um that works but yeah all you need is cucumber tuna and some some mayonnaise or some salad cream that's what i was thinking um, but I use these little John West infusion tuners, they're like the known drone ones so they don't smell or you have to touch it when it comes out and stuff like that. These are really great and it's got like basil in it. So it's really nice. Um, these flatbreads, I put a flatbread recipe on my Instagram not that long ago and everyone asked me about the flatbread. Um, these you can get in like Sainsbury's or Waitrose. I, th I don't think I've seen them in any other stores, but I got these in Sainsbury's this morning. Um, they're like four Greek style flatbread and they're so good. And just for lunch, you just like warm them up in a pan or in the toaster and then you just top them with stuff. So sometimes I'll make like tuna with a bit of mayo, I'll show you how to do it. Um, and then like toast one of those and dip it in. If I'm feeling a bit hungry, like a pita bread or toasted wraps, but I don't have any of those at the moment. Or I will literally just slice up cucumber into like circular slices and then top it with the tuna and have them as like little bites. And the snack lasts so much longer then. So you feel like you're eating for a long time, but then it's like a snack and lots of protein. So in a tin of tuna, I'm sorry if you don't like tuna, but this is as effective with chicken. In a tin of tuna, there is 24 grams of protein. So first I just grab out a bowl that I can put um, the tuna in. So it is like a tin, but you literally just can open them. And it's all ready to go. That looks really grim, but I promise you it's not that bad. I don't know why, but it doesn't normally look that runny. It's meant to be a bit more no drain than that, but hey ho. Nevertheless, and I literally put in like a teaspoon worth oh. of mayonnaise. mix that together so i thought this angle might be slightly better and i'm gonna make a different flatbread lunch in a second um because i thought this is not enough tuna to put on that flatbread it's not gonna be filling enough it's just a snack for me so i think i'm gonna make some chicken on the flatbread but that's irrelevant back to the snack so i literally just get some bits of cucumber and i just portion this off onto top of the okay that makes it look really bad on top of the cucumber. You've probably seen people do this before, but this is just such a good one. I can't lie. And I just finished off by putting 
some pepper on top. And then if I'm feeling a bit of spice, I'll put chili flakes on, but I'm not today. And that is literally a simple, it's two second snack, high protein. You've got 23 grams of protein, but like less than 200 calories. It's just a deal. Why would you not? End up putting my tuna, putting another tin of tuna and putting it in a flatbread because I was getting hungry, all this cooking. Okay, <clears throat> next snack. It's one of my favorites and it's something I kind of do for meal prep. I just take, um, it's like a chili chicken dish, but I just make it and leave it in the fridge and then I can put it in a sandwich or a wrap. I have it with rice um, or literally just pick it up if I want a little snack. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you, it's really easy. It literally is. I've got some chopped chicken and some peppers. Okay, I start off by putting the pan on the heat um, and then just drizzling some oil in the pan like so i normally use um this fry line and we'll just do a couple of sprays of that but i'm basically out of there so that, that's just an empty bottle i need to put it in the bin really um so yeah so it's olive oil today but yeah normally we'd use that just a sunflower one or whatever really whatever one's on deal to be honest and um, get that warm and then I literally just pop in my chicken and my peppers. But yeah, and I just stir that. Okay, the pan's not that hot apparently. But whilst that's in there, just put some salt and pepper on the chicken. And then I'm gonna add in some ginger, which is like just ginger puree makes it really quick and easy. And sesame oil. Some soy sauce. And then once the chicken is semi cooked a bit, I add in some sweet chili sauce. And then stir that in, so it's going to make like a sticky chicken almost, it's just so good. And keep cooking until it's literally just so easy. Um, keep cooking until the chicken's cooked really, keep tossing it together. And just like that, you've got a nice sticky chicken. Um, there's actually quite a lot there, that's like a whole, it's quite a big chicken breast. So yeah, I'm not going to have this chicken now because the teacher had lunch and stuff and had a protein shake. but. That is all cooked. And I'll put that in a bowl and I'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow or for a snack. If I have it as a snack, I will normally do like shredded vegetables like carrot, red cabbage, stuff like that. Um, bean sprouts if I've got any, but normally it's carrot and red cabbage that I have in the fridge. And um, I will toss that together and then sprinkle some crushed peanuts on top. And um, that's a pretty like low cal snack. Well, and high protein because I don't really care about the calories it's the protein aspect um, and it's really quick and easy to pull together and then obviously like if I want to fill it out and make it into a lunch I can add rice to that or maybe noodles I literally just warm it up in a pan but it's so good I just couldn't recommend more having stuff to hand because so like I said like on the go like it's really great if you take protein bars for that thing that stops you from going and just getting the next available snack and I think my problem is that like I don't know if there's anything wrong with that like treat yourself whatever like if you want that go for it but sometimes when I'm out and about, I'll be hungry and I'll just go to the first place I see. And because like, I don't want to spend lots of money, I'll go into somewhere like, I don't know, Tesco's. I'll just buy a chocolate bar because it's cheapest. Um, then buying like some kind of nut bar or like a pack of nuts or, you know, like a protein shake. And then I don't know, sometimes I, I like my protein shakes, how I make them. So some of you go into a store and you buy ones, they're just really artificial and they make you blow. And it's just, yeah. So I think it's always good to be prepared. Um, definitely couldn't recommend more. My last go-to snack would definitely be the protein shake. You can't go wrong with these. I think there's a common misconception in the fitness world, whatever you want to call it, um, that you need to take protein powder. You can get enough protein in from your diet naturally, but I do find protein powder is a great way to kind of just bulk it up and if you one, you feel like you haven't had enough protein, at the end of the day you can just make a quick protein shake. It's a lot easier than cooking chicken or meat or like having to 
well, got meals with protein, etc. It is such a quick, easy way. And if you get like a plain flavor, like I would, vanilla is really great because you can use it like fruity, but then you can also make a sweet one. My favorite is the chocolate one. I have this chocolate whey protein blend from Free Soul. I'll put the link below. Could not recommend this one more. The chocolate taste is so good. I find some protein powder, the chocolate taste is really artificial, but that is a chocolate powder. Like sometimes I just have a shot of coffee, milk and that, and it's like a coffee, like uh, like an ice mocha. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I think when this video goes up, I would have posted my go-to protein recipe. So go check that out on my Instagram so you can see what I put in there, but I don't want to take you for it now because I'm not going to drink it now. So that would be quite wasteful. I'm not about being wasteful because this is my holy grail and I'm not wasting her. I'm savouring her. Well, I say that I literally have her like every day, every other day. Um, I've got into a habit now of like having protein shakes, like a dessert, like putting random things in them, making them like a sweet drink or treat um, and finding them quite satisfying. So yeah, I would definitely recommend. This one's really great actually. Again, it's got loads of different vitamins in it. Iron, calcium, magnesium, it's got flaxseed. So definitely could not recommend more. Love them as a brand. And I will link down below. I do have a discount code. I will put it on the screen for you now if you want to try any of their products. They're really affordable. So I do think that is a really good thing. I do find that some companies, it's just you could pay a ridiculous amount of protein. And what if you don't like? You could pay a ridiculous amount for protein. And what if you don't like it? So it's so important that you like what you're buying and also so you then you don't want to spend too much on it just because you buy it and you don't like it you can't return it so yeah definitely try it see if you like it i'm sure you will absolutely love it but yes go check out my go-to protein shake on instagram but yeah those are all my go-to um high protein snacks um a lot of them are pretty quick and simple but i think that's the most important thing you should have in your diet it should be really easy and you don't want anything that's too complicated simple snacks are the best that's why i do like bars or protein shakes for on the go um but obviously meal prepping is really great for making like high protein snacks i also have a really good recipe which i totally forgot about for protein balls um like little like snack balls which i will film and i will put on my instagram this month or the next coming weeks um, so there's another option on there. So yeah, you can head over there for more kind of recipe ideas and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really shows me a good indication of what you guys like and what you don't like. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. I don't think there's going to be a video this Sunday because I'm going to prom. So, and I haven't got one planned for Sunday. So I think...